time seeing the Phantom on the screen or people changed their looks. It was shocking to people. The 80s was the splatter decade and that's when I became Wizard of Gore, Dr. Gore, King of Gore. It's hard to say about Leatherface. He's obviously an evil character, but he's more than that. I don't think they had any idea how big Myers himself would be. That character has become pretty big. It's human, it's not human, and then there's this little matter of having a whole bunch of nails banged into your head. Zombies weren't very frightening until we made Night of the Living Dead. Metal, if you look at it musically, it was basically born out of the blues. Black Sabbath, when they first started, was a band called Earth, and they were a blues band. They made it into this beautiful, dark art that so many generations of artists have, have copied. Horror films are like the perfect backdrop to like heavy metal and vice versa. You know, they just go together. They just go go hand in hand because all the lyrics are dark and sinister. The music and the horror genre are defiant against society. It's just about ex being extreme. Extreme gore, extreme being scared, extreme, it's just extreme. Horror fans and metal fans just are looking for that fix. Deathly scared of sharks. My mom took me to see the original Jaws when I was really young, and it scarred me for life. I was terrified of the dark. I always went to bed very young, right as dusk was falling, so I saw the shadows come in. I think that was one of the things that kind of terrified me in a lot of ways. My greatest fear would be like, like trapped underneath something, or nobody would hear me, or be stuck in a crevice of the earth, or something like that. Don't be afraid of the dark. That scared the shit out of me. The first time I saw Night of the Living Dead, I was so goddamn scared. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It just gets under my skin no matter how many times I see it. The movie that affected me the most was Salem's Lot. Iron Maiden, still one of my all-time favorite bands, with the best marketing idea ever of Eddie. I always tell Alice Cooper if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't surely look like this. The Misfits were another one. I always said they had like this doo-wop punk sound with the horror aesthetic, and it was like, that's perfect. I was just getting kind of started with my puberty when uh, the Dope Show music video came on television, you know. I wasn't ready for that <laughs> yet. We came to the convention business through the entertainment business. What we are selling and what we're buying is not stuff, it's memories. There are people out there who love horror, I know there are people who love heavy metal, and I know there are people out there who love both. And basically, I'm reaching out to those people and saying, hey man, I'm into it too, and I got a lot of cool stuff, you can just come over and check it out. Donate. 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 Donate.